This is going to be a short tutorial helping you learn how to use your new program called Logger Pro in processing the data you collected from our lab called Determining the Concentration of a Solution, Beer's Law. If you recall, as part of our experiment, we had created a series of um, solutions. You started with a known amount of copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate without giving those answers away, but you recorded the number of grams you had to measure out add to 75 mils to create your 0.4 molar solution. You then went through a process of MV equal MV, the dilution process of creating other standards from your stock solution. From the stock solution then you filled out your grid of how many mils of each to create a total volume of 10 mils. And I bet you noticed there was a trend 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. And you went through and made those solutions to have these resulting concentrations. You then placed them into a cuvette and recorded the absorbance. Just to have some sample data, I took the um, liberty of just making up some numbers. They may or may not come close to yours. Again, I'm just making them up. But it's going to provide me some numbers to go ahead and process using the Logger Pro program. So at this point, I have 0.08 molar and I have 0.4 molar and the range between them. Just a quick observation with your own numbers. The most concentrated solution should have indeed absorbed the most light. It was the most intense of the colors. The least concentrated solution had the least amount of light absorbed. And you should see that trend in a linear fashion. To undergo the data analysis section, we're going to use our Logger Pro program graphing concentration versus absorbance for our five standard solutions. And let me help you on my computer and just show you that process. So I'm going to analyze the data using these made up numbers. You're going to follow the same process but using your own numbers. Now once you've installed the Logger Pro program, you will see this particular um, icon on your desktop. It's Logger Pro. When you double click that, this is the screen that will appear. Now notice that I have an XY axis and I have a set of data. What we want to do first is put our cursor over the X and I want to label the X and we're going to call the X the concentration axis. So literally type in concentration. Its short name can simply be um, molarity and the unit there will be a big M molar units. And now notice that appears in the X. We want the Y to be the absorbance. And the absorbance has no unit. So for us for right now, we'll just leave that blank. And so that's done. Notice we have concentration and molarity units on the X and absorbance now on the Y. Let's just take a moment and plug in each of the five standards. So I'm making up at my 0 0.8 molar my concentration of 0 0.205 and I'm just using the tab button to go between. For 0.16, I hit tab and I go 0.462 and I'm just literally taking a quick moment to enter in the data. Oops, that went to the wrong spot. 0.762 and one more, 0.4 goes with 0.982. So again, these will be your values for the five standards. Now here's what's going on. See this little area, that's the line that we have. Obviously, if we go from 0 to 100 in both directions, this isn't the best scale. But here's a great trick. See this A up on the menu bar? The A stands for auto scale. Simply click that menu button and look what happens. It automatically scales to the best fit. So for my concentrations, oh look at these numbers, are not the best straight line, but perhaps yours is going to resemble this. Perhaps it will look better. I mean just visually, the more straight the line, the better off my mixing was. And uh, you can give it a little, vi a little visual feedback of your precision from mixing solutions. So thinking about what we're being asked to do, back to this particular slide in analysis one, we're being asked to um, put those numbers into the Logger Pro program and then select analyze linear fit for your graph. We want to know what those numbers are for the best straight line and write them onto this report. So at this time, we'll go up to analyze. 
linear fit and notice how I get a text box that appears. The text box is a y equal mx plus b format and that's the best straight line. So really what it's done for me is automatically created that line for us. So what we'll need to do is record on our um, page under data analysis 1 the values for the y equal mx plus b slope. So let's suppose, can I fit these both on? I want to simply record for y equal mx plus b my m value, which is the slope of the line, 2.318, and the y-intercept value of 0 0.04580. I'll just record that right here on my data table. But now that I see I have a nice looking, um, a nice looking graph, this is what we're asked to print. So now what we would do is print the graph, and you can print the data table separately, but really all I need to see is the graph. And at this point, I want you to put a footer here. And all we would do is type your name and call this Beer's Law. And that way you can have a footer appear when you go to print. And so the process of printing will happen. Um, you'd have to select the printer that makes sense for you and then just hit OK. And then it will eventually go to your printer. And this is, this is now, uh, for number one, all set. So now with number two, it says determine the concentration of the unknown of your copper sulfate solution from the equation above. You'll be solving for the x variable where the m and the b are provided from right up here on our graph. So use your y as the absorbance. So this y, the absorbance of the unknown for my made up data, it's trial six, the unknown. What was the absorbance? Well mine was 0.525. The M value, again just pulling from here, 2.318. I'm solving for X. X is our molarity unit. X is the X axis there in molarity. Whoops, plus, sorry, plus 0 0.04580 plus the Y intercept. So Y equal MX plus B. Let's solve for X. So with our calculator, Oh, I really have to change those batteries. We are going to simply solve this algebra. So 0 0.525 minus 0 0.04580 equals divide out 2.318 and we get an answer. And that answer represents the concentration of our unknown solution. copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate, the unknown value. And this right here is the heart of your grade, making sure that you end up with a correct answer. Now let's kind of process number three. As an alternate method for determining the molar concentration of your unknown sample, what we can do is use our graph to determine the concentration of the unknown. Record the value here, show the work on your graph, and how do the two values compare. So here's what I'm after. Notice that my red line is my actual data. When I place my cursor on the red line, I want you to bring your eyes down here. It's telling you the X and the Y values. Bring your cursor to where the Y value matches your absorbance reading. Mine was 0.525, so I'm just gently sliding it until the Y matches 0.525. On my red line, whoops, I was using the red. 0.525 on my line, not the best fit slope, but the line that you actually generated. And it's going to take a soft touch to kind of move around. There I, oh, I had it. There, ooh, stop. Right there, 0.525 is the Y. And again, notice where I'm looking. The cursor is on the red line, and what I'm hoping to do is just bring your eyes right here where the X and the Y are. Whoops. So here we go. Sorry about that detail. Um, 0.525, and I just want to simply read what the x value is at that time. Alrighty. So here's another trick. Do this with me. Go up to Insert, Text Annotation, 
and this is another option, kind of drag it to where it's not overlapping the other. Grab the end of the arrow and I want you to point where the line is point two five two five. Keep pointing until it reaches where you want it to end. Almost. That cursor has to be at point five two five, which is way up here. There it is. I'll drag it for that spot. Notice I'm reading point two oh two one. Oops, click and drag. Point two oh two one comma point five two five. This is my X and Y coordinate. from my own graph. Alrighty, so now this is the second set of data that you can print and then that takes care of showing that. Point two oh two one. So now let's kind of process what that asked. Point two oh two one was what I found. See that from my own line, I put a text box in that showed 0.2021 molar units. Using the best straight line, we had 0.207. Using my own line, 0.202. The values are extremely close. And hopefully yours are too. Um, what it will allow you to do is just another opportunity for feedback. How close did your line actually fall to a straight line? So notice with number one, processing data number one, you're using the best straight line. Number three, you're going to use your actual line, the actual red line from your data mate here that will show you what your answer would be. Alrighty. From there, you'll simply finish um, answering and processing some um, concentration lab quiz questions and then again using either data mate or the uh, logger pro program here would work fine if you wanted to redo this or it says you could use your graphing calculator so with the back page you can use logger pro might be easier or you can use your graphing calculator we need to find the best straight line for these data points to find the concentration of the unknown and that will end your quiz lab reports will be due monday